All right, so we're at the, uh, the wide body part of this build. Uh, I have the fender off. This is just a 940 sedan Volvo fender. Um, so this is the driver's side. And we're making the rear over fenders. This obviously isn't going there. It's just resting there. Uh, so we cut it apart, the passenger side, and put it on the driver's side of this car to kind of uh, make something that would fit. Now this is made out of completely one of those fenders so we're really not too like committed on this design like the only bits of steel i used were that and that piece and that was just to extend it out um what we did is we cut uh across this seam line here and just overlapped it on that seam line uh which means it tapers back because i have them reversed because i need this to kick down farther than uh, on the front than the back where it's the opposite on front fenders uh, because front fenders are meant to go in the front and not the back. So we kind of uh, made this. It's it's on there. Um, not really too sure how I feel about it. I get a very uh, super duty truck kind of look to it. And that might be because it doesn't go down all the way. Or it might be the fact that these have a slightly square uh, fender opening. And it, like it might be better with a, a completely rounded fender than a, uh, a square one. I mean, it also might be the fact that it doesn't match anything else on the vehicle because there's no kidding whatsoever. Um, yeah, if you look up IMSA builds, uh, they're kind of similar. I think my car might be slightly wider than one just because of the offset of the wheels and they would run a very narrow live axle and I have a normal, you know, Mustang axle. So having this much offset in the wheel, they would probably run something very similar to this. Um, just means that it's, it's farther out. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is probably like two inches farther in. It might look a little bit more sane. Or if I kept more of the, uh, the original body line and maybe had it, uh, come out more. I do like the, the shelf where it goes straight across. Um, kind of, I, I tried to keep it with the radius of the, uh, the door, to kind of keep that going across and I think that's okay but I'm just not sure if it's the square or the flat opening on the top of the Volvo that kind of ruins it or you know the overall design of it um yeah like we're only four hours into this job Oops. Oh. oh is it locked oh that's uh, why Somehow it locked itself while I was dicking around with it. And you can kind of see how much it sticks out. So we are we are maybe out a little bit as we could bring it in a little bit more. But it seems like on the IMSA builds they don't have much poke. So I was kind of limited to that. Um, you know, what I could do is possibly just trim this out here, out here and get my nice uh, kind of radius to match the tire. And then that might look okay because these don't have super tight uh, wheel well to tire clearances on the IMSA cars. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe just kind of cut that or I can't put an over fender on it, obviously. Look real fucking goofy. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think. And I will uh, kind of go from there. I'm not too vested in this. As I said, it's been four hours of my life to get to this point and one Volvo that was going to scrap, so not the end of the world, and a little bit of metal. So yeah, smell you guys later, tell me what you think.